Hello, this is Nisia. I want to share with you a brief explanation about our paper in which we carry out a systematic literature mapping from January 2016 to the July 31 of this year. We now live in an interconnected world where physical borders don't impede people coming together and collaborate trying to solve various global problems. So this raises the question, how can we promote effective collaboration among professionals with different cultural references? Intercultural competencies are referred to having sufficient and relevant knowledge about cultures in order to be prepared for a deeper understanding through the intercultural interaction. The objective of this study was to analyze the recently published scientific evidence about intercultural competencies development for professional collaboration. In the first phase of the study, we define the objective in the four research questions. About inclusion and exclusion, we only choose scientific articles related to the subject and publish from January 2016 to July 31, 2021. For the second phase, we search articles in the databases that ensure access to high-impact journals, such as Scopus and Web of Science, using terms such as intercultural competency, higher education, and collaboration. Then, we already find the search by limiting categories or thematic areas. We read and analyze articles related just to developing intercultural competencies in higher education. The research questions were, how many studies are in the Scopus and Web of Science database from 2016 to July 31, 2021? What is the geographical distribution of the article's provenance? What are the journals with more publications on this line of research? And in what contexts are these studies developed? Once obtained, the results were imported into a reference management program to be included in the database. First, the duplicate articles found in both databases were eliminated. The inclusion and exclusion criteria were then applied, resulting in 300 25 articles that met the requirements for this study. 255 articles were found in selecting scopes, of which 213 were empirical studies and 42 correspond to theoretical studies. In Web of Science, 70 were found and select, of which 61 were empirical studies and 9 were theoretical studies. The geographical distribution of the articles allows to know in which countries there is the most interest in researching the subject in question. In our case, the development of intercultural competencies to promote professional collaboration. The journals with the most published articles show a panorama of interest in publishing about the development of intercultural competencies. This table identifies the name of the journals, the quartile to which it belongs, and the number of studies published. Of the 325 articles analyzed, five were developed in a business context, eight in a social context, and 312 were conducted in an educational environment. So to have a more specific vision of the framework for the intercultural competencies in each study, we decided to specify the academic level at which it was carried out. Given that the development of intercultural competencies has become increasingly relevant in higher education, it is necessary to investigate how to evaluate the effectiveness of competency building strategies for professional performance. This article presents a synthesized view of the state of art of research on intercultural competencies development 
for professional collaboration and invite scientific inquiry into possible topics not yet fully explored. Thank you.